There is a lot of people watching from outside the United States, from Canada and from other countries that may have socialized medicine. And I know our country was trying to push towards a socialized medicine where it's basically free health care. Mm. And so I want to have a little bit of discussion about the pros and cons of that, because I don't think people really know the right questions to even ask or think about when it comes to that. But my take on it is if I were to be given an opportunity to be a doctor in that system, they're going to give me a base salary. And then it's not going to matter if I saw one person that day or a hundred people that day, I just have to show up like I'm punching the clock, like I'm just a worker. Mm. And so the type of people that you're going to get to manage your health, your case, try to optimize you, they're not going to exist within that system. You're going to have to go outside the system. So when we talk about Canada, so many people in Canada that have money, they don't go in the system to get their health care. They go to private practices, concierge doctors, mm -hmm. because these doctors are ones that are going to actually listen to them and be able to pull resources from every means possible to help get you better. So I'm not under the belief that if we switch to a socialized medicine, that that would be a positive thing for anybody. No. As much as most people believe that. And in fact, I tried going to all the doctors in the system when I was disabled mm -hmm. and out the system. And we spent, I can't even, I don't even want to admit how much money we had to spend on trying to find my way back. But so much of the things that we did were outside the box, outside of the traditional system, cost a lot of money. And unfortunately, it didn't work. I totally agree. I think the socialized system where everybody gets the same care, the same treatment, the same type of non-complacent type of attitudes towards your therapy and towards like even educating and being, I mean, if you're so inundated with people, you just can't give that quality care. So maybe it's not the system that we look at, but it's actually the model that it provi it like produces for the, for the actual providers and how it doesn't. It, do, it just doesn't support a creative environment, you know? And, like, the thing is, like you had said, a lot of people will want to stay, stay in network and stay in insurance, and they're like, why would I pay more for that service? You know, why would I do that? But I think it's important to get the care that you need when you need it, and you're going to have a better prognosis if you get it sooner. And so that's the big piece that I say, too. So the first person I meet might be, you know, a low-back person that has already gone through the system and got their 70% well – and now is, I want, I want more and, and my insurance faded out and I can't do anything. And now they come to me and I'm all, okay, yeah, that's great. And we'll work with you, but just know that you would have been a lot better if you came in a lot sooner and we would get results a lot faster. And I would be able to go boom, 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 you're out. And I think that model of that social medicine will promote the delayed response to rehab and the delayed response is going to not be as effective. So yeah. thinking outside the box, going to private practice, being able to have that one-on-one -on -one attention that just like, you know, less is more kind of quality, like where you're less meaning less volume and more quality. Um, you're going to be able to have better results. And that's just how it is. The more comp complicated you are too, the more multi joints that you have going on, the more systematic, the longer it's been, like all of these things should, should factor into whether or not you want to see a regular provider that is going to be out of network. And that's going to be more specialized for your care, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And you made another good point on how fast you get in to get care mm. in our chiropractic profession. If you have a physical injury, you want to find your chiropractor within the first hour. Mm -hmm. And if I can set that joint back into place, typically within a few days, you'll be back to normal again. Mm -hmm. If you wait more than 24 hours, it's going to take me about two or three weeks to get you stable because yeah. the scar tissue that lays in. And if you wait more than three days, it's going to take me two to three months again so because there's too much scar tissue that laid in. And so it really is important that you get on it right away. And, you know, there is a time and a place to go see every type of doctor, mm -hmm. the, the medical doctors, the surgeons and everybody. There's a time and a place for it. But I too see. often people don't realize what their choices are. And so they look at their ladder of life and they're used to the ladder that says, oh, I have a cold. I go get an over the counter medication. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't work, I call my MD. I go get 
uh, and a stronger antibiotic. If that doesn't work, I go to another specialist and get a stronger steroid or a drug, and they just keep going up that mindset instead of thinking, oh, let me drink a bunch of water, make sure I'm not dehydrated, and let me make sure I get my nervous system clear, get an adjustment, or let me take some antioxidants, let me boost my immune system, let me feel what's going on, and do all the natural things that, that I know that I take care of myself when I'm starting to feel compromised. And guess what? We've had that approach my entire life. And I don't think I've ever been sick more than a day or symptomatic because we jump on a different ladder. And I think more people now are jumping on that other ladder. Agreed. And they're not just so quick to jump and get on medications. And I don't want to be on that medication the rest of my life. And I don't like the side effects of those medications. And so more and more people, like I said earlier, are starting to take responsibility for their health and actually doing something about it and not just waiting for the crisis to happen and then having to manage a crisis.